Hi, hello, it's Marina. I'm 57 and I live in Sweden. Uh, I am a lover of colorful makeup. Uh, I love all kinds of makeup and colors of all kinds. Um, today I'm actually going to do a sub subscriber's request again. <laughs> um, it was Didi who wanted me to do a look with my favorite fall palette. Uh, she had asked me of this for well, like a month ago and I have missed her comment. Uh, I actually realized yesterday when I was browsing through my own channel that I had missed a lot and I don't know why that is. If you have a smart way to keep track of all the comments so that you don't miss a lot please let me know because I seem to miss a lot of them and I apologize for that. I really mean to answer you all. Um, well, the, my favorite fall palette, I did a video uh, some time ago uh, with all my fall palettes. Uh, I kind of missed some of them, I think, but mostly of those that I consider to be my fall palettes. Um, now fall colors aren't my favorites when it comes to colors and to me fall colors is like orangey, goldy, uh, greens, especially warm greens like olive and yeah those kinds types of greens. They are not my absolute favorites even though I use them and I like them too, but they're not my. I, I'm more of a cool tone person when it comes to color. Um, so, and I actually I don't know which is my favorite fall palette. I have a bunch in front of me here, and I had a hard time choose to choose. Uh, for example, I had the Nomad uh, America's Parks palette that I consider to be a bit fally. I have the Lucky Bunny Wrath breath it's a hard word to say it looks like this and unfortunately I discovered yesterday that this brand is closing down uh, they were doing the seven deadly or she I guess she's alone in her one girl one woman company she was doing the seven deadly sins uh, this is the fourth of them and I was really looking forward to the other three but I guess they won't come. I also wanted to use this one, the uh, Armed and Gorgeous by Jacqueline Hill and Morphe, uh, the Yaya, and the Berlin Underground. This one maybe not so fully, it's more grungy, but I was considering it. it. The Avocado Toast, BH Cosmetics, and both of these from Juvius, uh, the Nomad and the Tribe. And of course, the one that I like, I almost took this one, 50-50 Makeups, the Fall Palette. This one is stunning. Uh, but I've already did a video with this one. So I won't do that, even though I like this one a lot. And one that actually is really a favorite and that is new in collect my collection. So I, I didn't have this one when I did my fall palette video. And that is this one, The Wilderness from Beauty Bay. And now I know that this one is discontinued. I actually grabbed it when they uh, released it the second time. I just threw myself to the computer and ordered it. Because this one is a fully color story according to me, but it still has a lot of cool tones and they have the it have the blue ones and turquoise there that gives you some more options. And it's an incredibly quality so I think I will use this one. For now, this is my favorite, even though I love the other ones a lot. 
I think it's really difficult to have favorites. I love all my palettes. Gonna put them down on the floor. Uh, so yes, <clears throat> so there I have been using this one, but not on my channel. Just had pictures up on my Instagram. So I think I will keep to these colors on this row because those I haven't used a lot. I tried the blue ones and the red ones and some of the greens too, but not those more olivey colors. Uh, and my brushes are, as per usual, not clean. <laughs> I have a million brushes here, but I still use the same ones and I still want to use the ones that are dirty. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I will go in with the... Um, I think I will use this one called Marigold, that one. Uh, oh, it's creased. Sorry for the mirror. Maybe you can, you can see a little bit of it. Uh, I have prepared my face as usual. Um, I will show you what with, with what later it's just the same same old same old stuff yes yeah, so I have been at home for uh, as I told you in that was it the video I did for Nelly or the video before that I don't remember that I had to leave from work on Monday night because I start to get a started to have a pain attack in my knee uh, so I have been home for mon mm, Tuesday and Wednesday and today it's Thursday and it's a day off according to my schedule so today is not sick leave and I will go to work tomorrow and I will be working the whole weekend Uh, I have a, an appointment with the doctors tomorrow morning. That will be exciting to see what they have to say. The funny thing is always when I contact the... Oh, look at this. I love this. Hang on. Mm. No, I have only done it. I'm sorry. It looked like the plastic was still on the mirror and I love tearing it off. Okay. Um, um, what did I say? Yeah, the funny thing is that always when I call the doctors to make an appointment, men, uh, appointment I am in real pain and I would like to get some help there and now. There and then. <laughs> there, there and then. Uh, I'm taking a color called Leaf. Placing that in the on my brow bone still, but on the outer part. But you get an appointment like two or three days later and by then the pain is gone. I w wish that they could see me when I'm at my worst. On the other hand, I wouldn't have been able to get in the car and drive there, so I don't know. At the moment, it's okay. I can still feel it, but I can walk and I can do what I want, almost. Like so. Um, and then I will take, this was a brush, they have no numbers and no name, but it's from the Artitude uh, co uh, Cosmetics, I forgot the name, Born from the Ashes collection. So now this is an BH Cosmetics Peridot brush, I love this one a lot, I use it all every day. 
and now I'm going in with the e how do you say that in English e eucalyptus eucalyptus in Swed Swed Swedish <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Okay, I don't know what mood I am in, but I'm sober, I promise you. Eucalyptus. I don't know. <laughs> and as per usual, I am doing just uh, an ordinary Marina look. Going back with a leaf color. Uh, cutting my crease as usual. Um, if I can find the brush, there it is. Using the cut crease canvas from uh, Revolution Makeup. Oh, I have ordered the, speaking of revolution, I have ordered the new palettes from Juvia's. <laughs> um, now I can't remember the name, but it is bluish and a bit of a turquoise, those smaller six pan palettes. They look so, so pretty there I, yeah i said it again pretty and i saw bridget have done a video using at least one of the palettes so i will go and watch that can't wait it for it to arrive Uh, at the same time, I ordered a new lippy from them. One of their matte bullet lipsticks. Uh, more purpley color. Can't remember the name. Fre Frenemy, I think. Uh, like that. Yeah, so go and watch Bridget. I can link her channel down below if I remember. But she she has already a look up with one of those palettes. Um, now I will I'm forget to hold the palette up. I will use the lime color, and after that I will take fossil. I think. I don't know if you should spray this one, maybe. Find it a little bit hard to pick up on the brush. Uh, and I will place the lime color in my outer part here. No. Changing the brush. Taking a fluffier brush. I have forgot again that I have done my face. I always forget because I never do that when I'm not filming. And I have done for my whole life, I have done the eyes first. This is just to save time when I'm filming. Oh, that's a little bit better. This is a gorgeous color. Oh, gorgeous. So today I actually been out uh, for a little while. I went to, I live like 15 kilometers from a small town. That's the nearest place we have to 
do the shopping if we want to well we have a local grocery store here but it's a small one if you want to go to the liquor store in Sweden we have um, one special store for you can't buy, buy alcohol in your grocery store or anything anywhere else and on this uh, shop that sells nothing else but alcohol wine you know all sort beer whiskey everything uh, you can't buy, buy it anywhere else so if you want to have something for the weekend or whenever you need to go there so I went there <laughs> I'll be working, but my hubby is not, and he likes to have a sauna and a beer. Um, now I am taking the fossil one. Yeah, and I browsed around a little bit in the clothing shops there. Um, and I went to the what do you call that? Recycling place. Um, we're not. You're supposed to sort your trash. Don't throw plastic away in your waste basket. Don't play, uh, throw metal, anything like that. So we have a special kind of bags where we place everything, and then we take those bags and go to the recycling place to throw it there so I did that Expi exciting <laughs> but it was so nice to be able to go outdoor I haven't been outside the door since I came home from work this Monday four days ago <laughs> because of my knee so it was nice just to be able to move I love this even though I'm not a warm toned person I love this these shadows are amazing um, yeah so I've just been doing some stuff nothing special and I actually bought when I was browsing around in those clothing stores, I bought a new skirt and two other things. You know, these oversized sweaters thingy. I'm not sure I like them. I didn't try them on until I got home. Maybe I will return them. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just filling in here the first color that I used. Marigold. Like that, and I have forgot to do this. Yes, and what shall I do under my eye? Reds also belong to autumn, I think. Um, orangey reds, you know, like the leaves. Um, as a base, I've used the P. Louise one. As per usual, put some more under the eye. Um, and I will think I will use the one called Heat. That one. At least halfway. We'll see. I think from the outer corner and halfway in, I will take the eucalyptus color. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in English. Oh, 
when you start or at least when I started the channel and started to talk English a little bit more than I usually do. I do it at work every now and then because we have sometimes customers from other countries coming in. Uh, but when you sit here and talk then you realize, uh, at least me, I realize how little, how small your vo vocabulary is. <coughs> There's a lot of thing I want to talk about or mention and I st I'm lacking words and that's so frustrating. Now I'm taking the heat color. Okay, so I will just take my first fluffy brush from Artitude Cosmetics and just kind of fluff it out a little bit. I had already put on a um, bone color mat under my brow. My brows you have to excuse today. They didn't want to cooperate cooperate <laughs> operate with me. They look terrible, patchy and hanging down. Hmm. Why do you, some days everything is fine and it goes well and, and the next day it doesn't. I don't think this is dark enough in my outer corner and there isn't a black or a darker green. Well, it's a dark green, but it's a cool tone one. I don't want to use that one. So I'm bringing in my Mac, Mac Black in carbon uh, my savior if you hear something in the background i forgot to close the door to my laundry room in there we have this thingy that sucks up moist in the air because it's a little bit damp in because I'm in our basement. Um, it makes a lot of noises every now and then. And I forgot to close the door. Like that, that's better. That's how I like it. Uh, and eyeliner. What should I use? It will be just a black one. Yes. My Happy Hippo liner from Metamorphosis. It has this stamp on the back side you're supposed to stamp on the wing I haven't dared to try it try it yet <laughs> okay that will have to do uh, mascara as usual Bambi oversized eye by L'Oreal Okay Inner corner highlight um, I think I'll take this one This one is absolutely gorgeous I just used it just the other day But I will use it again The Space Age Highlighter in Prophecy from Kaleidos. It's freaking stunning. Stunning. 
the shift in this one is absolutely amazing. It's like on your finger it, it looks like liquid metallic almost. Orangey, gold, green shift, so so pretty. Like that and I will also take it on my cheeks actually we have been talking about me and my hubby he's not my hubby for real we're not married we're not even engaged we just live in sin under the same roof <laughs> but it's easier to call him hubby so you know who I am talking about uh, we've been talking about um, getting chickens, hens, to have a few, do you say hens? Chickens. Chickens when they're small. Uh, because we thought that would be nice. Like six or seven or something like that. Not right now because it's autumn and we will, you know, if we do, but I can hear him when he's talking that he all have already made up his mind <laughs> um, so that we can have our own eggs. We eat egg a lot every breakfast. Uh, my blush will be from the vanilla orange um, truffle blush palette by BH Cosmetics and the brush is from Artitude Cosmetics and I think I will use that one. They all have a scent but this one is I can't even tell what it's strange very artificial the other one smells better. I have four of these They are really pigmented, so now I took too much in one stroke. Okay. Now I look like a clown. I don't like too much blush. Of course, I want it to, to show up. But when it's too much, I feel like a clown or something. I know there's a lot of people who like a lot of blush. I'm not one of them. Not overly much. A little bit. But then again, I sit here and everything looks like I have a lot on when I get upstairs and look in the mirror there. It's not so much. So I don't know. Maybe it's the light here. Uh, like so. Uh, lips um, I woke up this morning with a big pimple here you know the ones who grows inwards hurts like hell doesn't show that much why am I a little bit red here It's my age, I'm so young, I get pimples. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I will, I have my lippies here from Artitude Cosmetics. There is one in here that are a bit more orange than the other ones. I'll take that one, I think, or should I? Yes, I should. The Inferno one. Something like that. Uh, 
this is actually a bit too orange for my liking. Orange lipsticks are not my favorite, even though I have quite a few. Mm, the other ones from Artitude's collection, they're from the Born from the Ashes collection, are not quite so orangey. I, orangey, I like them better. Anyhow, it goes with the look. Um, and as per usual, I didn't bother to fix my hair. I need a haircut. When you can see the stripes from my glasses here, then it's time to get a haircut. <laughs> I get a dent here from the glasses. Uh, yeah, something like that. Apron off. Uh, this is my look with one of my favorite fall palettes. The Wilderness. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. But if you somehow get hold of it, grab it because it's gorgeous. I used uh, mm, that one, that one, the whole row actually. The whole row and the black from MAC I've used. And that one, the red one. So, that was me today. I think I'm going to film my next um, eyeshadow palette collection now that I have a face on. <laughs> so you won't be scared. Um, yes, I think I will do that. I'm actually getting to a point that I can't remember quite what palette I've already talked about, but that's easily fixed. But anyhow, need to write a list. Okay, so that is it. Hope you enjoy, Didi. I hope you liked it. Now you take care, everybody. Weekend is coming up. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Take care and be careful out there. Bye-bye.